Hi, welcome to our time together today. I want to start out by announcing that we are moving back to in-person classes Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 7. So this group will, um, I'll keep it open, but there won't be any ongoing posts other than just noticing if there's any activities at the gym and any questions you can still contact me and I'm happy to happy to do that but classes will resume starting next week Tuesdays and Thursdays six o'clock six to seven to be exact also want to stress that you want to get there early because there's going to be a wait list so you need to either call or in person register and sign up for the class so there will be a limit for the amount of people in there due to COVID restrictions and requirements. So just wanted to put that flag out there. If you want to continually come, make sure to either call ahead to reserve a spot or do it in person, maybe even get there early um, and hope that there's an opening. Just had to give that plug. And I will also send out a announcement with that as well. And since today and ne the next class will be virtual. I'm going to just kind of make it more of a transition flow, uh, more of a calming um, meditative flow so that it just kind of eases us way back into the gym and I hope to see you all there. So to start, I will read a bit of a devotional today. October 27th, 2020 is the date. If you've ever flown, you know that from just below the clouds, the roads are like tiny arteries and the cars like cells. From above the traffic, it becomes clear that though we all have places to go, we just keep circulating through the streets. We race and pause and stop and start, never sure if the road we are turning on to will be congested or barren and free. For example, every other day I flip my blinker and drive down Washington Avenue. Some days there isn't a car and the lights are all green. Other days I have to wait and I get irritated. But whether I'm early or late by my time, the dilation and construction of events is something beyond my control. In truth, like cells, we race up and down pathways, collecting and dispersing, feeling crowded then lonely, and somehow just doing so keeps the whole body healthy. Like cells through a body, we are life pumping through the streets. Even waiting at a light, we are helping life go on. So just a little devotional for October 27th. And for starters, if you want to jump right into it, that's what we'll do. If not, you can pause this do that uh, tether ball exercise that we've been doing. And that's really just placing a tennis ball underneath your foot, going to the arch, going to the mid between the arch, uh, I'm sorry, the ankle, going in between the arch and the ankle, then the ankle, maybe rolling back and forth in that area, going to the larger area of the foot, um, closer to the top, so where it's the most width, and then also just spacing out the toes, rubbing them back and forth on the ball. Doing that both feet. So just a recommendation to start any of your practice um, as well as before uh, bed. Those nerves at the bottom of your feet are connected throughout the entire body. So foundation is always first, which is why we always ground as well. So coming into an easy seated position, whatever that means for you today, could be cross-legged or the legs may be underneath you. And just connecting to the body for a brief moment, coming into stillness, maybe checking in, is your pelvis in line? Are those hips in line? Is your pelvis rotated forward or is it rotated backward? Bring it into alignment, allowing yourself to ground and root. Maybe placing your hands on your sides, just checking in, making sure everything feels balanced and your weight is evenly distributed. And now going up a little bit, making sure your core is supporting your back. Maybe that means having more proper posture, breathing in a great big breath of air. And then checking into your shoulders, maybe lifting up and back, opening up the chest, 
Oftentimes when we're not at the computer, the shoulders are folded forward, creating a lot of tension in this, the upper back, bringing them up and back, creating proper posture, not creating an arch in the back, still the spine is straight. And then having your hands, maybe your palms fit up or face down. Face up generally allows the body to be more receptive, more relaxed, more receiving. However, not everybody feels comfortable with that. So allowing the palms to face onto the thighs, perfectly okay, no right or wrong. And maybe you wanna soften your gaze. Maybe you wanna close your eyes. Just beginning to connect to your breath. Beginning to come into this space. Beginning to quiet the mind. If there's any noise going on outside, noticing that noise is always there and you have the power to direct your thoughts. So bringing your thoughts to your inhale and bringing your thoughts to your exhale. Focusing on the breath brings us to a clear, present moment. And now maybe you notice some discomfort, some tension, some gripping in the body. Maybe you don't. If you're feeling any gripping, any tension in the body, breathing in a great big inhale, allowing that inhale to come in, loosen up that muscle area as if that air is traveling to that spot and exhale, releasing anything that no longer serves you, letting go, releasing the grip, releasing the tension. Connecting to your breath, breathing in fresh, clean oxygen, and exhaling, releasing anything that no longer serves you. And as you continue to do that, take a moment to really come into stillness and connect to the breath. Where did the mind go? Did your mind stay focused on your inhales and exhales or did it wander? bringing it back to the breath. What we're doing is we're thinking about what we're thinking about. And now just noticing, observing the breath pattern. Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it shaky? Is it smooth? Now beginning just to think for a moment, noticing the ground beneath you, noticing that gravity is helping you secure you, you have to root down in order to rise up. Connecting to the earth. And now taking a moment, maybe you want to set an intention, if you'd like to do that. An intention could be a thought, a word, a phrase, a mantra, or a goal. Something that you can use to bring you back to either to the present moment or to your intention. And on an inhale, inhaling the hands all the way up overhead. Exhale, bringing them to heart center. Inhale, breathing in that intention, that goal, that mantra. Exhale, bowing the crown of the head forward. Inhale, coming up, allowing the crown of the head to be released. The intention sealed, hands can come back to your side. One last great big inhale in. And if you like, you can make it an audible exhale out. and wiggling the fingers, coming back into 
your space, spend time together. All right, thank you. Inhale, lifting the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring them down. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring them down. All right, switching the cross in the legs. And just taking a moment. Is your right over the left? Is your left over the right? All right. Inhale, bringing the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bringing them forward. Also allowing that chin to come into the chest, maybe even curving the back a little bit. Inhale, arms all the way up overhead. Maybe this time, allowing your slight back bend. Exhale, coming forward. Inhale, arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands coming down. All right, we're gonna work our way onto our backs again. Just take a mental note where your legs were. And coming all the way down on our backs, getting there as best you can, bringing the knees into chest, rocking them side to side. All right, coming into stillness. Go ahead and let that right leg go all the way down to our right side. Left leg coming into center. And pulling that leg in, allowing the body to stretch. If for some reason this is discomforting, you can always modify by bending that right leg. releasing all the way down and inhale bringing that right leg up a little bit interlacing and stretching it in breathing in slow and steady learning to go race Breathing in, and let's go ahead, exhale, release. Allow the arms to come all the way over our head, allow the legs to stretch out, full body stretch. All right, let's go ahead, bring those legs back into center. This time you can allow that left, well, let's do the right, right leg to come down, and this time taking that opposite leg Letting that right leg to go all the way down. This time taking that opposite leg and allowing it to go to the right. So the left leg going to the right side, you can allow that left hand to be stretched out as well. Your gaze can go to either side, the left or the right. Find out which one works for you best. Connecting to your breath. If you'd like to, you can even stretch out that left leg. It's okay if the left hip comes up, but it's not okay if the right. So you do need to make sure that if that right hip is coming up, the left one, connect to that. See how far um, you can go without moving the right hip. And again, the leg can be extended or it can be in closer to the body. And coming back to center, hugging that leg in once more. And let that left leg go down and bring in the right, crossing it, crossing it. Okay, taking the right leg towards the left side, allowing that right arm to go out. Your gaze can go to the right or it can go to the left, whichever you feel most comfortable with. Generally speaking, you'd want to do the opposite of what you did, or the same as what you did on the other side, but the opposite, equal, but equal and opposite. That's what I'm trying to say. Breathing here. And one more breath in. 
exhale, go ahead and release it all the way down. Again, full body stretch, arms overhead. Let's go ahead and allow the legs to come back up, making them and this time at a 90 degree angle. Hands can really be wherever you'd like them. They can be on your side, palms can face up. Take the right leg down, hover, and then bring it up. Left leg down, hovering, and bringing it back up. Right leg down, doing this at your own pace, and back up. And it would be helpful if you take that left leg, allow it to go down, and bring it back up. Noticing the breath pattern, inhale, Doing it at your breath pace. And on the last time you're on the left side, go ahead and come into stillness. Let's allow both legs to fall to the left side, arm stretch open, gaze going to the right side. back into center, taking them to the opposite side. And back into center, great. Allowing the hands to come around the thighs, around the shins, taking it side to side for a brief moment. And then go ahead and rock yourself, take your time, However long it takes you to come all the way up into an easy seated position. And remember we took note of where our legs were before we went onto the floor. All right, inhale, arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, left hand coming down to the left side, right hand stretching across, allowing that right side to get a nice stretch, making sure that right hip is grounded, rooted, and secure. Breathing here. Gaze can go up towards the ceiling. And exhale back to center. Right hand coming down, left hand coming across. Gaze going up. And back up into center, great. Go ahead and get any way it goes out, maybe roll the shoulders, in fact, rolling the shoulders up and back, down, bringing them forward, so doing circles with those shoulders. Great, reversing that up and back. Okay, pausing here, once you did the same amount of circles, forwards and back, let's take the head, taking tilting it to the left side for a moment. Coming into center, taking it to the right side. Back in the center, go ahead and allow that face to go up towards the sky, opening up the throat. And come back to center. Allow the chin to come into chest. And back into center. We're gonna do two, no, we'll do three rounds of seated cat-cow. So cat-cow, and I will just turn in this direction so you can see what seated cat-cow would look like. Allowing the chin to come into chest when exhale. On an inhale, allowing the chin to go up towards the sky, creating a little bit of a arch in the back. So you're creating, a, but not creating any kind of pressure or tension. If there's discomfort there, go ahead and stop. And exhale, coming into chest. Inhale. Cow. Exhale. Cow. Inhale. Cow. And exhale. Cat and come into stillness. Okay. Allowing the soles of the feet to come in to face one another. opening up the hips, maybe even rocking side to side, making sure that your weight is evenly distributed on your hips. And 
Maybe even you want to allow yourself to open up those hips. Maybe you bring the knees forwards and up. Nothing forced. Nothing forced at all. Well, maybe you want to keep doing that. Or maybe you want to come forward. Maybe you want to extend the legs a little bit. Find what works best for you today. And keeping in mind that every day is a different day. Inhale, if you're folded forward, coming up to an easy seated position. Let's go ahead and extend the left leg all the way out in front of us. You can't see it, but my foot is flexed. Foot flexed, taking the opposite leg. In this case, this is my right. Bring it over, crossing the left, allowing that right foot to become grounded, rooted, and secure. Right hand's going to come behind the right hip. Left hand, you can bring that around, keeping the arm straight and giving a nice little side twist. If you like, you can also um, create a 90 degrees, so cactus your arms and coming across, whatever works for you. Ensure that your spine's straight, your hips are grounded and level. Breathe in here. releasing switching it up bringing that right leg down taking the left allowing now that left leg so right foot's flex leg is straight and active the left leg is going to come down towards the right side placing that foot on your mat taking the left hand bringing it behind the left hip right hand coming across it can be straight or you can Cactus your arm, find out what works for you, what speaks to you today. And then give yourself a nice little twist. As always, nothing forced. Breathing in, if you feel any tension, if you notice that, oh, my muscle is actually kind of tight here, go ahead and breathe in fresh, clean oxygen. And exhale, releasing that tension. And exhale, releasing completely. Awesome. Bringing your legs back in closer to the body, opening up those hips. Let's go ahead and take the left leg all the way out to the left side. The right sole of the foot coming in closer to the body. Foot is flexed. Leg is long. And checking in weight distribution, always. Left hand can come to the shin come to the ankle maybe you get all the way to the toes again find what works for you maybe you want to take that opposite hand and bring that hand also to the side maybe that opposite hand was to swoop around and come all the way down and fall forward again listen to your body And exhale, release. Switching it up. Right leg is going to stretch out across. Leg active, foot flex. Left sole of the foot coming in closer to the right thigh. And checking in with those hips. Right hand can come to the right shin, the ankle, maybe all the way to the feet. Maybe you notice, oh, this side's a little bit different than the other. That's normal. One side is often different than the other. And from here, if you'd like to, you can take that left hand, bring it to your shin, to your ankle, or maybe you wanna fold all the way into it. Breathing in here. And exhale, release. Great. We're gonna work our way back onto our backs for one brief moment to create some ab exercises. All right. So here, let's go ahead, take the right leg over the left. We're gonna do eagle legs. So the legs are interlaced. Right leg over left first. And when right leg is over left, let's go ahead, take that uh, right arm, bring it over the left. Oh, actually, sorry, let's switch that up. Um, left arm over the right, so opposite 
arm leg situation. So when you come forward, your right knee and your right elbow are reaching. And release. Exhale, coming up. And release. And I should say actually, on an inhale, coming up. Exhale, release. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release. Great. And unlace the arms, unlace the legs. Left leg is now going to come over the right. Interlacing here as best as you can. Nothing forced. So with the left over the right, we're going to take the hands and bring the right over the left and the arm. So this actually gives your full body a nice little workout. And when you are ready, inhale, coming in. Exhale, releasing. Inhale, coming in. Exhale, releasing. Inhale, coming in. Exhale, releasing. One more. Inhale, coming in. Exhale, release. Release the arms and release the legs. Great. Soles of the feet onto your mat or onto the earth. Hands can come to your sides. Palms can face down. Checking in. Can you touch maybe your ankles? Do you just feel that they're there? Don't have to necessarily be able to touch them. Feel that they're there. Hands coming to the sides. Pushing the earth away with the soles of our feet. Energetically pulling those thighs in to meet one another and allowing ourselves to come up into bridge. Breathing through any discomfort. Connecting to your breath. Exhale, releasing all the way down. Right leg coming over the left, avoiding the vulnerable areas, the knee and the ankle, bringing in the thigh, doing this at your own pace. Exhale, left leg coming down, right leg coming across. Bringing the left leg over the right and bringing it in. Interlacing that right leg, avoiding the ankle, avoiding the knee. Making sure we are respectful of our vulnerable and our vulnerabilities. Exhale, release. Legs going over to the left side body. Arms stretch out or cactus out. Gaze goes towards your right side. Inhale back to center. And allowing your legs to go to the right side this time. Gaze goes towards the left. Inhale, back to center. Hands coming to our sides, palms can face up or down. Right leg goes out to the right side, left leg goes out to the left side. And you can softly close your gaze or soften your eyes, whatever works for you. And releasing and resting in our final posture together, Shavasana.
and slowly coming, flowing over onto your left side, not forced, not rushed. And when you're ready, coming all the way up to an easy seated position. Your gaze can remain softened. Bring your hands to heart center. And we'll meet there. May all beings everywhere be happy and free from suffering. And may the thoughts, words, and actions of our own lives bring about that happiness and freedom for all. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really can't wait to see you guys in person. So as a reminder, there will be one more video and that will be on Thursday. And then post Thursday, so next Tuesday, I believe that is November 3rd. And that will be our first time back in person. Again, make sure to register, so call ahead or go in person the next time you're at the gym to make sure that you get a spot for Tuesday and Thursdays at six. Thank you so much. See you again.